All right, guys, we are back on the Minecraft server, and it's a little bit close in here. Hello. You'll notice the bed's a little bit of a different color. We finally have updated to the new snapshots. Um, it's a little bit late for you guys, but it just happened for us. We're just recording out some. We got these cool terracotta, um, glazed terracotta. It's been clay, but with the furnace, you can make it into glazed terracotta. We got concrete now. A lot of fun stuff going on. Um, I'm looking for iron. Let's do two of these. Let's grab some. So we got a project today we are going to work on. It's going to require some grass. It's going to require some cutting. It's going to require some shears. I know I have their shears, so I'm going to need more than that. So let's make, oops, this one. Let's make two more shears. One of these has sticks. I know I saw it. There we go. Perfect. And the crafting table. So we are over in the jungle right now. And the reason we're over in the jungle right now is because we are going to be building some tree forts. This is a nice little entrance. If you watch my own channel, and live streams you'll be able to see a lot of that fun but we are building some tree houses up there and these this is actually something that's been here for quite a while um, several months but Stephen Holt has been the one out here building all of this and it's been his fun idea to start to do something like this and after we got some other projects done um, some of the rest of the server decided hey let's jump on board and help him out with that so let's kind of create some fun stuff so today's episode we have this and this is our entrance out of the nether and we'll jump into this there's we're gonna make a custom tree over here probably um, but whenever you're up in the tree I, let me instead of telling you this let me actually show you when you first of all it's hard to get to the main trees right now so that needs to simply be fixed and when you walk around, I mean, even from right here, oops, even from right here, it's, you can't even tell, like, you have to kind of look to actually see where that is for the entrance into the nether. So, in the past, I've actually had to just, like, unfortunately, starve myself to death or drown myself or jump off high cliffs so that I could, and break my bed so I could go respawn back at um, our spawn town because I had no idea where the nether portal was, so that's why we created that. But we need today to make it so that it's much easier. So even from up here, it's sort of viewable. Oops, oops, oops. But it's hard to see. So we're gonna go ahead and just clear a good chunk of this out so it's wide open. And we're gonna need this wide open anyways if we're gonna make a custom tree. So I figure we'd do that on the episode today. Now with the episode today, I want to talk to you guys about uh, what it means to be a Christian and to have trust in God. Trust is a really difficult thing. It's a really hard conversation. I mean, think about just trusting people in general. Who's the last person that you really trusted? And why is it that you trusted them? And you'll probably come up with some good things of they supported you, they did something for you, helped you out in some way, which is great, but um, my guess is that they're human and they messed up somehow. And so that can be really frustrating, really difficult. And even in so, you probably did not expect them to be perfect and to take care of all of your problems and be able to kind of help with every little thing that's going on in your life. And so the question is, is what do we do in those situations? How do we handle that? How do we be able to find something to look towards when we are really struggling? I'm collecting all these leaves because we just don't have a ton of jungle leaves and I'm not sure which ones are jungle leaves and which ones are oak. Let's go ahead and drop some of these off back here. Let's see. I'm gonna drop these off in here. I guess this can be the organic area. 
So I, we had a minute, uh, church service recently um, that read from Hebrews 4, the, the second half of the book. And Hebrews 4 goes like this. Let me switch over here. Uh, for God's, for the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to divide the spirit. Divide, dividing soul and spirit. So just think about what are some things that's been so difficult in your life that it feels like it's almost dividing your soul and your spirit. Nothing in all creation is hidden from God's sight. Everything is uncovered and laid bare. So you talk about the idea of trusting someone. They have to do something. Well, with God, that's not the case. Um, his very nature is to be trusting towards, which can be difficult sometimes, especially when you feel like you ask God for something and he didn't give it to you. Um, and there's probably a reason for that. And it goes on. Everything is uncovered and laid bare before the eyes of him whom we give count. Therefore, since we have a high priest who ascended into heaven, Jesus is the son of God. Let us hold firmly to the faith he, we pr profess. For we do not have a high priest who is unable to empathize with our weaknesses, but we have one who has been tempted in every way, just as we are, yet he did not sin. Let us then approach God's throne of grace with confidence so that we may receive mercy and find grace to help us in our time of need. And I love that passage because in my own mind, I think, you know what? God is God, so we need to trust him. And me pragmatically saying that, me just kind of saying that nothing crazy is going on in my life, that's something that's really comforting to hear. And I'm like, I can accept that. That's, I agree with that entire statement. And then life happens to you, right? And it's like, oh my goodness, I don't know what to do for myself. Um, he talk, It talks in here about temptation. It talks about struggling with the, the turmoil of this life um, and how sin just makes things so difficult. Not even like the temptation of sin, but just like the aftermath of sin. Um, the aftermath of sin in the sense of you... <laughs> Anything from like difficult, small little things of you lied to someone and so that was tough to um, much more significant things that happen in your life and the ramifications that come from that. And just be able to work with that. I think it is amazing when you talk about God and being able to trust him and in his omnipotence. So for those that don't know, omnipotence means that um, there's omniscient, omnipotence, and... I can never think of the third one. Omnipresence. So God is all-knowing, all-seeing, all-hearing. He is everywhere, and um, he is now and forever is the essence of those three words. And so with all that being said, um, it's kind of like the Santa Claus effect of you just can't escape him. He knows when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. And yet even in that, we can still trust God. We can know that he has our best um, situation for us and that we can go to him even whenever we're worried about what might be thought of us. Um, so that's, that can be a really difficult thing. Um, I'm going to take a quick survey. Let me jump up there and jump right back. I'll be right back. All right. So here's what I see. Um, good entrance there. Not terrible. Um, we are going to need a little bit of space over here for the big, big tree. I think that tree there is fine to keep. Ooh, some saplings. I guess they're oak saplings. Um, so let's go ahead and clean out this here and that one. So look, let's see. One, maybe two, three, four trees. Let's get those four trees. We'll leave this one here. Probably have to shave a little bit or maybe even remove it if we decide to. Oops. Well, I guess you can't win them all. My little uh, chest here for whenever I had to kill myself last time. Um, so let's go ahead and remove this tree. Get some more leaves. Is this another oak tree? Nope. I can never tell the difference without like looking at it. Oh, and of course. Oh yeah, it's oak. I don't care about oak. Um, so with the conversation about um, Hebrews four, one of the one of the fun things about this passage is that that little section 
See how they're different? I think this is the... I want the jungle leaves. That's what I care about. Nope. They're not. I guess I cannot tell the difference. There you go. That's the difference. See that? Versus that has like that little pear or whatever on it. So anyways, back to the conversation. Uh, I think one of the big things as far as the conversation about Hebrews 4 is it talks about how we um, do not have to um, worry about this. We, we have a high priest and there can be comfort in that of knowing for some there, that's their fear is there's this God who um, totally does not understand what's going on in my life and just simply cannot relate to things. And for them, that is troublesome. But that's not taking into account what, what Jesus was here for. What was the purpose of Jesus being here? And so we can't forget that piece of it. He understands what it means to struggle with temptation, with um, the fall, and with everything that's difficult about that. Um, so when you have to go work, when you get sick, when... Um, somebody makes you angry and you feel jealous and all these different feelings come out, that's okay. Not only is it okay, but we have a God that's experienced it. And so we can find comfort in that because he experienced it with us. And so I think that's really important for us to remember. All right, so we got some... We're also collecting a little bit of wood, which is good. Let's just go ahead and get rid of all this stuff. Those shears are nice because they're so fast, but they deplete so quickly. Make sure you want to enchant them, but sometimes it feels like that enchantment's a waste. Dun, dun, dun. And what are you doing here, Mr. Stone? Oh, that's why. Cover that up. Do some more tree busting. This tree, I don't know if it's a glitch or what, but this tree definitely grew into the side of this hill here. All right, so we got rid of a lot of it. Obviously, I'm gonna have to do some more terraforming um, when we figure out how we're gonna climb if we do the tree or whatever else. So I'll have to do more with it as well. There we go. Get rid of this and that. Pick it all up. Let's see, what else was I wanting to do? I was wanting to get rid of this tree right here. There we go. Ah! My parkour skills are awful. Here we go, here we go. Beautiful. Ooh, this is a big tree. <sighs> All right, let's make this a smart way of doing this. Instead of doing parkour. Ba -da -ba -ba -da -bum. Hey, dun 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 I love those little ferns that you can pick up. It's tall grass, but it's in the shape of a fern. I love them. Ooh, another sapling, jungle saplings. These things are kind of precious because the jungle saplings themselves are a little bit hard drop to get. Not every tree comes with a plethora of saplings with it. All right. So we got some good stuff. Beautiful. I'm not sure what to do about this. I guess we break it. All right. The creating the custom tree is going to definitely be interesting because I've never created a tree before. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to happen. I'm not even sure. I mean, we have to get a ton of jungle wood to be able to do so. So that's going to take some time too. 
So it'll be interesting. I think it'll be a fun challenge, but I'm not necessarily thinking it's going to be an easy challenge by any means. Alright, so I think this was the last tree I wanted to get rid of, and then let's go look at it from up there. Um, I may have to move some dirt off camera, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of the little bit of a process and have that conversation with you. And of course, the easy way we could do all this would just be burn it down, but burning it down in a jungle biome, I think, would be maybe my dumbest move yet. So, of course, I seriously considered it at one point. <laughs> All right, grab the rest of this. All right, let me chop down that lumber and then we'll go look at it. Nope, there we go. Hmm, I wonder why the wood mixes up together because this is definitely like an oak jungle tree hybrid. It's kind of weird. And then there's a random couple of mushrooms. Interesting. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and go up there, see how that looks. Some of that, some of those leaves will probably start to despawn. That's okay. Now, this whole climbing the vines thing is why we want to put that quick climb um, elevator in here with the mine carts. So that'll be definitely important. Oh man, that is super clear. Probably have to terraform a little bit of that because we want to be able to climb out and go straight up there. Um, so I am going to want to put a little bit of a path there. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Ouch. I know I'm making this a long episode, but it's been a couple of weeks since you guys have had an episode. Let's go ahead and do it anyways. Um, the path itself I'll make off camera because that's just kind of tedious work. Um, stone means I will have to... Oh, what is this? Oh, no. This look does it looks man-made, but I don't think it is. That's interesting. I don't think Stephen came over here and made a man-made ledge like that. Interesting. All right, this is going to take more time than I thought because all of this is here. So, let's end it with that. I'm going to have to do some serious terraforming. I might actually just make it like a little bit of a V here. Instead of terraforming the whole side of it, I think that would be a smart thing. So I'm going to cut it there, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Tell me what you guys think about that Hebrews 4 verse. What does it mean for you to trust? What does it mean for you to be able to um, understand and believe in God and um, be okay with trusting in God. I think that that's also important too. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below and I'll talk to you next time. See you, see ya.